Hi Aries, welcome to your daily video. I hope you guys are doing great today. Thank you for tuning in. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some cards for your daily message. Let's see what we get for you, Aries. Angel Spirits Guides, please show us Aries. What do they need to see or acknowledge, please? Aries. Four of Wands. Okay, it's something is very stable. There could be some goal that you've been trying to achieve that is going to come in. Some ship arriving. You could be taking time off. Four of Wands is a very stable. Oh, wow. Five of Wands is in the challenge. Okay. So somebody or a group or a situation is trying to bring um, some minor disturbance. It's not huge. It's just some kind of struggle for power. The world. Completion. Great success. Okay, there's a page of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody is coming towards you. They are innocent and sweet, and they have some news for you. Powerful news. Three of Pentacles, people working together, team, like a teamwork here. Something to do with working something out and we have the moon so there is something here hidden hidden in the dark okay you're working on something eight of pentacles something is in the works it's in the development phase Underlying the deck is Emperor. So you are in a position of power or self-power, personal power, strength, Leo, Ten of Cups. Okay, Ace of Coin, something new, the Devil and the King of Swords. You're, somebody around you doesn't want to quit. They're determined to keep going. Nine of Wands. There could be a process or a situation that's exhausting, tiring. You're afraid of a Three of Swords here. Your hope or fear is this card here. Okay. Okay, and the outcome is its star. Um, so the star is hope for the future, letting go, fresh starts, new beginnings, um, rapid recovery from something. There's a rapid recovery, or it's about hope. You have hope for the future. You feel peace. After um, something here that was a minor struggle, what do we have here for the Four of Wands? Why is there, things are stable in your life. Two of Swords, you don't see something, you don't, you're not, you don't have the information, so you're unable to see, and I do have the Seven of Swords coming out with that. So there's somebody who... Um, is trying to 
sort of do something sly. Um, what's the outcome with the star about? Okay. Hmm. Well, I got the Three of Cups, which is a celebration energy. It's shared feelings and emotions. Okay, so something is hidden in the dark about competition. Um, the root of the issue is the world. Something has been done. It is what it is. This is it. And there are people working on something together, but you don't have the information for whatever reason. Um, you just don't know. So you keep working here. Someone around you is not going to quit. Um, the star in the Three of Cups looks pretty good. What is this outcome about for Aries? What is the outcome about for Aries? What is the outcome about for Aries? What is the outcome? Page of Pentacles, a message regarding a coin, or you're dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Somebody who sends you a message about money or finance. What is the Three of Cups about here? What is the Three of Cups? The Knight of Swords. So something comes to you fast, rushing, urgent, air sign, energy, communication comes in. What is the moon about here? Why do we have the moon? Temperance. Something requires careful handling. There could be a Sagittarius involved. Temperance is about moderation, doing something in moderation. Um, So the star card is a good card. It's Major Arcana for hope and healing. Letting go. Fresh starts. What else for Aries for their situation? What are they going to find out in this situation? The artist. Okay. Someone could be a creative person. They're a very artistic or creative person that you are dealing with. Um, let's see what else for Aries. The Seven of Cups, okay. Lots of choices. Lots of options. It could be emotional confusion. Not quite knowing what you want about something. Two of Swords is, I don't have the information. I have a little bit of information, but I don't have the whole picture. And I'm trying to make a decision based on some information. The Three of Coin is people who are working on something together because they have an interest. They have either a financial interest or they have loyalty, time they've spent together. The Moon, though, means something here is hidden. Um, it's not quite clear. So the challenge is a minor arcana. It's just Five of Wands. It's just people who are sort of struggling back and forth. You're working on something. You're in a Virgo energy. You're in this energy of service and work and focused on coins. Focused on... You're just focused on one thing. Money or your career. What else is the outcome here? Okay. I got the Judgment and the Ace of Cups. 
So something here is coming in where it is a revival, a new beginning. It's some kind of resurrection of the situation and there are very powerful feelings here connected to it. Something is coming back up. The Page of Cups is the communication, the delivery of the communication. So the judgment is could be a decision. Underlying the deck is Ten of Cups. So it could be something very happy for you. It could be the completion of a cycle. Um, two of Wands, Two of Cups, Queen of Coin. So it looks like here you made a decision with another person or there were some shared feelings and then you felt like you were at a crossroads, you wanted to take action on something. The Fool and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you're willing to take a leap of faith even if there is a lot of more responsibility or moving. Okay. Three of Cups is celebration energy. Show us for Aries. Show us for Aries. Okay, now we're getting the Hierophant. You're doing something by the book. There's something here where you're following the rules in a way where this is about policy, procedure, ethical, you know, um, this is what you need to do um, because it's like this is the way it is. It's not really um, personal or anything. It's like this is the way... Uh, it could be like a bank, a school, anything institutionalized where there's a set of rules and policies that you have to follow. So it's not personal against you. Here you go with the emperor. Power, personal power, being in your power. Okay, so you're going to feel like you're owning your power in some way. Um, okay, what does this Page of Cups deliver a message of? What is the Page of Cups here? Six of air. Okay, so you might be moving on from something or it could be somebody returning to you. It is the energy of things becoming easier. Conflict is over. Things become easier. You move away from stress. Things become smooth. Okay, we have here the page of swords. Somebody could be watching you, observing. This is the energy of... Um, Maybe minor petty challenges. Why is Aries Eight of Pentacles? Page of Swords. You're working on something. Somebody could send you some information where you have to um, answer some questions. Okay, there's a King of Pentacles underlying, Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So you might be learning something new. You may have to answer some questions um, for someone. But ultimately, you do get to the star energy, which is really good. Okay, so what's coming up here for Aries? What do they need to see? So look, I got the sun card. This is a Christmas tarot card. Freedom, sun, happiness, joy, success. All things are going well, or they're at least going the way they should be. Okay, give us one more. It could be that you're letting go of something as well. Um, I don't think you are if you're working on it, if you're like trying to get to the Ten of Coin with something, you're trying to form a, a firm foundation. Okay, 
Here we go. The wheel of fortune starts to turn in your favor. So we have the wheel turning, good luck. Um, okay, so the wheel there means change. It can, I mean, to me it means destiny. Um, things that are meant to be. But bottom of the deck, we do have magician. So we have somebody here who is putting something together, solving problems, using their skills, working at something, the energy of Gemini, so somebody has a lot of ideas. Okay. Show us the Three of Cups. What is the Three of Cups about here? Look at the strength. Okay, so there's something about great inner strength, having to draw upon your strength self-control, Leo energy. There is some kind of social energy where feelings are shared with people. Okay, I got the King of Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody who is in a mature, emotional energy. They take action on their feelings. Okay, so someone could be a water sign in this situation. They could be an artist. What you don't see is people working together with the moon and the two of swords. You don't have a way of knowing. For some reason, you don't have a way of knowing. Okay, we do have the death. So something here could be transforming or changing in this situation. Something is closing out the cycle. I feel you'll, you'll be quite happy with the sun and the wheel. Um, let me get one more. Let's see. Well, the death card is coming out again here. So the death represents change. It also just represents transformation of a cycle change. Um, I'm sorry, transformation cycle changes. I also got the Hierophant, which is about a belief system. There's something here about policy, procedure, beliefs, structure, and order. What's on the bottom? Again, still magician. Gemini energy. The outcome was the star and the three of cups. So it is a minor arcana for a celebration. You know. You know. And the sun card is a very good card there. So I'll leave it here for you, Aries. Thank you for watching your video and take care.